All right, guys, so this is another little story time video going back to my seventh grade middle school Washington, D.C. trip. This would have been in November of 2013, the first weekend of November in 2013. I can remember that because of some of the sporting events that happened that weekend, but the trip was basically from Saturday morning. You guys know how middle schools are. They want to pay for, you know, as little as possible when it comes to the, ho actually, I think we probably, yeah, we definitely paid for it. It was definitely a trip where, you know, the, the, the student had to pay or at least kick in some money for the hotels, but we ended up going Saturday morning on these big buses, you know, the buses that you see, you know, you go to ski club or whatever. I actually used to go to ski club back in seventh and eighth grade. That was a, a pretty fun time, but yeah, this was seventh grade and it was from Saturday morning and we came back on Monday afternoon and we had the Monday off. So it was like a Saturday to Monday thing. Obviously we had class Friday, whatever, everyone goes home. And then on Saturday, our parents drove us up back to the middle school, that's where they picked us up, and we ended up going out to Washington, D.C., you know, whatever, two hours, two and a half hours, I don't exactly remember, maybe it was like a three-hour bus ride, but it, this was, this is a funny moment, so we were on the bus, and, you know, I was sitting with a few of my friends, you know, back in seventh grade, I had a pretty nice social circle, we had to bunk with three other people, because it was like two twin beds, so there were four people per room, or four kids per room, and I had like three of my best, you know, childhood friends with me, it was really good, but we were watching a movie or whatever, or we were like debating on what movie, and there was this one kid, and this kid is like the definition of peaked in elementary school. This was a kid like in second and third grade, everyone thought he was going to be a brainiac. He was going to go to Harvard. He was going to go to MIT because, you know, he was pretty smart. He his, his, he would go try hard when it came to like the raffles and everything and, 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 and like all these weird different things. And, and he just peaked too early. That, that, that's what it was. He peaked too early. But this kid was on the bus. He, he was like in seventh, we were all in seventh grade. And he was like, I want to watch Avatar. And we're all sitting there like, nobody wants to fucking and watch Avatar, dude. It's like a four-hour movie. It was just a funny moment, but we're all like seventh graders. He's like, I want to watch Avatar, and then they did put Avatar on the way back. They put Avatar on, and we were just like, we're, we're falling asleep to this thing. I mean, come on, uh, but yeah, that was a funny moment, but you know, so it was a three or a four-hour bus ride there. We get there, you know, probably Saturday early afternoon. I remember we, it was just a complete mess. We were in all these lines, Saturday night, we ended up going out exploring or something. Yeah, so what you do when you're in, you know, a school group, they let you see the monuments, you go into different places, but like Saturday night, it was freezing cold and we were out like exploring the freaking, you know, Washington Monument and all that crap. And I remember when we got back to our hotel room that, you know, this is where it kind of gets interesting. Basically, when it came to my friend group, there was four of us, and the three of us were very immature. Or you know how the, like the one one of the friends is a lot more mature than the other three, and that's kind of how it was for our friend group. So, <laughs> me me and two of my friends, we devised a plan. Uh, we, what we were, I don't even know what we were gonna do. I think we were going to yeah. This is what we did when we got back to the hotel. This would have been Saturday night. Or wait, 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 no, I think it happened Sunday night. Saturday night was just normal, whatever. We went to bed, got back up on Sunday. I think just explored more. Oh yeah, this is an interesting story. On Sunday, you know, we're out exploring. We're in some freaking Amelia Earhart Museum, whatever. Like there's planes and stuff. Uh, and me and my one friend, you know, the NFL is going on. This is early November. This is prime time. It's like week for week 11, week 12. And I remember I had... At the time, I don't know if I had an iPhone 4S or an iPhone 5, maybe the 4S. The 4S was the first phone I've ever gotten, and I literally had pulled up a pirated NFL Red Zone. I was an early adopter to NFL Red Zone. I feel like I was a trailblazer. I really got it in 2011, and now it's funny. Everyone has it, and I don't even have it now, just because I think the NFL's gotten a lot worse. People will say, oh, it's nostalgia. No, it actually has gotten worse. I, I used to love watching the NFL every Sunday. It's just the worst product, and I just can't re you know, really uh, get into it like I used to. But me and my friend, we were watching N the NFL Red Zone with Scott Hansen in one of the museums. It was hilarious. I don't even know how we could get the uh, reception but or the connection, uh, but we were able to do it. And, and I only watched like five minutes, but it was just funny trying to get the updates on the score. You know, you're like freaking 13 years old in, in, in these museums. It's also funny. We did visit like a 9-11 thing. Obviously, 
you know, foreshadowing there to, to what I would cover in my later YouTube years, I guess, but I didn't know much about 9-11 at that point. You know, you're just a young kid going into these museums. We do a bunch of exploring. It's all the tourism shit. You know, it's all the check the box on this, on this, go to these memorials, bada bing, bada boom. That's all what it was, right? It, you know, we're all having fun. You're with your friends. You know, it, it's a nice time. But we get back to the hotel, and in the lobby, there were free bananas. So I we ended up getting one banana, just me and my one friend. And we were, we were just, I don't know why we were doing this. We were going to take the banana and, like, mix it with soap and then throw it at the one mature friend that we had while he was sleeping. We were waiting for him to go to sleep. And I remember we tried to do it, and he just kind of flicked it off. But I'm not sure how this happened. So it was two twin beds, so it would have been... Me and my friend sleeping in one, and then my other two friends sleeping in another. And I don't even know why I had... You guys know, like, bathroom soap, like the little mini bar soaps? I had one of them in my bed, and it was pitch black. The hotel rooms get very dark, especially at night. It's lights out. You know, they come in, they tell you, it's time to shut it down. Go to bed by 10 o'clock, okay. Well, I had this bar of soap, and I just chucked it. I just threw it across the room at the other, like, in the direction of my other two friends on the other bed, and it just boings, I don't even know how it happened, it banged off my one friend's forehead, I did this in the pitch black, I don't know how I nailed him, how did I nail him, he got pissed off, I turned the light on, he throws it back over to where me and my other friend are in our bed, because he thought it was one of us, and it nailed my other friend, it was a hilarious situation, and then there was another moment, <laughs> there was another moment on Sunday night, yeah, that's, I remember watching Sunday night football with my friends in the hotel room, like Andre Johnson had maybe three touchdowns against the Colts or something. I, I remember that. I, I don't know if that would have been that weekend, but like early November, 2013. And I was, we used to like to, you know, wrestle, especially my two friends that used to wrestle, whatever. Cause we were into the WWE a little bit. Cause it's fun. Uh, but I was in the bathroom doing something. I don't know. Like just going to the bathroom. I come out of the bathroom. My two friends, the one mature friend is just off to the side, you know, on his phone, whatever. But my, my two other friends are, I don't even know what was going on. There was some type of submission maneuver and it looked almost like an, like an orgy. And I, and I nicknamed it the spider. This, this, submission maneuver the world famous submission maneuver the spider it was just a weird looking thing i come out of the bathroom like what the hell is this that would have been sunday night another thing <laughs> this is so bad i don't i'm not going to get into the specifics of this but there was a person a student in our group that got lost and we were joking, we were, well, it was big girl lost in a big city. We were joking that, we were joking that this girl was at McDonald's, like, lost. It is, it is bad, but, um, you know, when you're young, it is what it is. So the next day, I'm trying to remember the timeline. We tried to throw the banana at him, I think, on Sunday night. I believe, oh, yes, because I know, I remember another thing. On Sunday night, we went to this weird... I don't even know what to call it. It was like a performance, almost circus type event. And the entire, maybe someone knows where this is located in Washington, D.C. It was like an arena area. But it, I mean, who knows? They might have changed it. And there was, it's almost like a rodeo with like dirt on the ground and stuff. And they do performances there. I remember I was with my friend. We were checking updates because the 425 games were like late into the fourth quarter. I remember Stephen Ridley was going off for me in fantasy. You remember Stephen Ridley on the Patriots? Yeah, like the Patriots were dest were destroying the Steelers and I was looking at the updates on my phone. But I do think it happened on Sunday night. And then Monday morning, I'm not sure what exactly happened, but because, you know, we didn't really, you know, get him. I think we just called it banana-ing or something. I don't even know. You know, this is just, it, it is cringy, but this is what we did. So I, I, I was like, listen, we got to get him. And, and I wanted to get my mature friend. I think I ended up just throwing the banana at him and he was freaking, and it was like a soapy banana. We mixed soap onto the banana. We like rubbed it on just like freaking lube. And I chucked it at him and this is all happening in the morning and it nailed him. I think it nailed him in the face and he freaking, because listen, my friend was taller than me. He was like really tall and skinny. He was in better shape than me. He turned me around. I don't know if, it, like, it was right ne right next to the closet or something. He started five-starring the shit out of me, and I took about four or five of them. But, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of what happens in that. 
But anywho, we just went down for breakfast and then, you know, it was the final day we were leaving on Monday. We ended up, we visited the Pennsylvania cra crash site thing, you know, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania on our way home. I don't know how far out of the way it was. It probably wasn't that far, maybe like an extra 45 minutes or an hour. Dude, it was so gloomy. I remember visiting there. I mean, this is early November in Pennsylvania. It was just so dark. I think we got there because we left our hotel. I remember having the continental breakfast on the Monday morning that we were leaving. You know, you get the free breakfast at the hotel. They got all the kids in like this big ass, you know, room where you're eating breakfast and they pack up on the buses and we go. And it was just like, we probably got there at like two o'clock. We were watching that one really good movie, uh, like the only good movie on 9-11 is it Flight 93 or United 93? Whichever one was the good one. I think it was Flight 93 is the good one. But yeah, that was a good movie. I'm not saying that got me into 9-11, but, but it was still a good movie. I got into 9-11 probably a lot, you know, later, but... Either way, we ended up going to that, you know, Shanksville Memorial thing, probably about 45 minutes to an hour, and I just remember it being so gloomy, and just, that was actually kind of boring for me, because I was like 13 or 14 at the time, when you're that young, you don't really care about stuff like that, but I was just thinking, looking back and reflecting on even this story that I'm telling you, think about this happening in November of 2013, that's more at this point, more than 10 years ago, and then you think about 10 years before November of 2013, I would have been like three years old. It's just crazy, man, how, how fast time goes and stuff, and then it's just, it's done, that's it, it's over, you know? It is very sad, but no, the trip was really good. You know, at the time, I had a, a good friend group. It was very fun, certainly. Some interesting moments, but just kind of wanted to share that. And then just another thing I wanted to mention, kind of random. So we get back on Monday night at like 8 o'clock or whatever, maybe 7. I remember that night, the Green Bay Packers hosting a Monday night game, but Aaron Rodgers was injured in 20, like late in 2013. I believe he was injured and they hosted. I'm not sure why. You know, I, 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 I'm able to recollect that, but it's something just random. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.